glorious spilling way. Glorious spilling way. Another glorious spilling way up by those kayakers too. Well, they're not really spilling ways, they're waterfalls. Good morning, you dirty old stash bags. I'm here fishing with Dad. We've already caught a couple. I woke up earlier than I ever have for open water fishing anyway. And uh, so far it's been pretty good. We've caught a couple fish. I'll play those clips. I didn't run a record an intro when it was pitch black. Hopefully you can at least see the fish, but no guarantees. We got a uh, we got a lot of time today, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna see how many fish we can catch. And uh, this is the same lake that I caught all my pike through the ice, so I'm excited. I haven't caught very many open water pike. That's the goal today. And maybe some bass heads, mainly pike, but we'll take bass heads. Okay, let's do it. And there is some that cut across coming up, so I go slow. Oh, a little bit right. You should be marking some pike in here pretty soon. Bugs are fun back here. Put these bugs in. <laughs> oh my god! I think this is the earliest I've ever woke up to go open water fishing. Maybe. All right, I know it's dark, but we're going. Operation Catch a Damn Toothy Fish commence. I can't see shit with my eyes. I hear the water, but I don't see where it's coming in. Did you get bit? <clears throat> First bite. Was it a pike? Got one. Nope. Nope, chattering bait. Not bad, two pounder, two and a quarter or something. Yeah, two pounder. Yeah, it's a fish. Not even light out yet. Second cast, chattering bait. <clears throat> Wrong species, but it's a fish. Got him. Nice. Came off. That was still. Yeah, that wasn't huge, but still, it's early. I'm usually sleeping right now. Got a pike. Oh shit! Had one? Yeah. Did you what see? You yeah. Okay. It looked big too. I thought I was snagged, but it was moving. That is what we're after, except we want to actually hook him. Or catch him. I hooked him. I just didn't catch him. Get him, Dad! We're just warming up anyway. That pike wasn't even really fighting. Felt like a wet rag. <laughs> it must have been a walleye. It might have been. It definitely wasn't a bass. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I, I and I know I didn't catch it. Briefly share it's not in my hand right now. <laughs> I guess it could have been the oldest, skinniest bass in North America. Like a 30 inch three pounder. We going to the good spot. This is where dreams are made of, Billy. Hopefully. She's a flowing. That's a good one. Get out there, Timmy. On the frog. On the old frog. Got it too. <clears throat> no waterfall pattern. Alright, Josh. Might be worth it. We just got up. That early early bite. Early surely bite. Frog out of the water. It blew your frog out of the water? Got him that is that the pike? Oh. Big large. Big large. <laughs> That's a good one, bud. How many times did he hit it? 97? Good job, Dad. It's coming out, but this is where I've been smashing them. Where those po weeds come out, there's a rock point that sticks out. Where, right here? Right to your right, yeah. Like 
right there. Bass. I haven't caught a pike yet this year. <laughs> Didn't even stand a damn chance. I'm gonna stick to my pike lures. Like a chatterbait. <laughs> Got a bite right away on a chatterbait and then nothing. Actually two bites. Seems like good weather for pike heads. Yeah, this feels great. You seen anything looking pikey on the fish finder? <laughs> yeah, there's one. Was that a muskrat? There he is. No. He's not concerned. Right off to your right, that rock that's on shore, it actually goes into the water a little bit. Nope, left shore right in front of you. There's usually one there. But there should be a like hump that comes up with rocks on it somewhere in here. Did you find the rocks? Yeah, they're out the door right there. Is there any fish on them? Yeah. World records. Mm -hmm. a couple sixties. There is a tree or something there too. Yeah, I kept hitting it. Got something. Yep. Yeah, dude, that's really large. He's going out to sea. This one over the spot. Little hump. On the old C10, bud. Oh, yeah, that ain't a... Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> that is what we're after. Dude, that thing has it down. Did you see that? That yeah, thing is gone. Thing that you got your, uh, leader on. Oh my gosh. Oh god, that's a big dude. That is a giant. That's a big. That is a big dude. That's a probably upper that might even that's like a 38. That's a big one, bud. That's large. Alright. Uh, Good job, Josh! High five, Dad! High five! I got my pike head. Alright. Nice. Drop him over the side. Correct. We gotta get our poop in a group. Let him take a little breather. Yeah, he's choked off. Dude, he's got it down. Bro, look, he went through the net. <laughs> oh, he broke your net? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a large one. That's a big one, bud. I would have pooped my pants if that came through the ice hole. Oh, yeah. I tried a lot ice fishing for one of these. You cried a lot ice fishing for one? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we try to be nice and use a net, and then it just turns out horribly. Yeah. That's definitely one of my biggest pike ever. Get goaded. All right, you ready? All right, definitely one of the biggest pike of my life. He's tagged too, but that's, I don't know, we're not gonna measure him because we're gonna get him back quick. He's, he swallowed it, but. He, he I seemed, think he got the hook out good though, man. He seems yeah, to be doing much better. It was just like in the corner, wasn't he? It didn't like pull any no, I think, out or anything. I think but. you're good. I wanna put him next to a rod and we'll measure on the rod where he was. All right. He's like not very long. He's yeah, thick. He's thick. It's a thick one. Yeah, a little yeah, bit so past like that. Yeah, right there. About three inches past that. Yeah, we, I'll break it right there real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. Snap! <laughs> All right, let's get her back. Hell yeah, man. But yeah. Beautiful fish. Digging. That's what we're here for. Got a couple bass early. I missed a pike early. Got this one though. That's big. Oh. Dude, I think, I think so. he's good. I hope so. Not much you can do, I guess. Dude, I mean, freaking, it wasn't anything we did. Yeah. Choked it. We'll just hold him for a while and hope for the best. It's, it's a big one, though. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a crappie that big. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest crappie in North America. Come on, girl. 
Yeah, she's thinking about it. She's staying upright. Yeah, that's key. But he, she is a little floaty. Sorry, floaty. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. That's about, I mean, it's as good as you can, dude, it had it gone. Yeah, that was badass. I was just reeling and I couldn't catch up my bait. Hmm. It's because it, it's because it swallowed it. <laughs> you got him. Cloud 9 C10. Thank Discount you. code MF10. Yeah, MF10. <laughs> Stash. <laughs> Stash. I didn't even know what was happening. I just couldn't feel my bait anymore. <laughs> Check out my sweet wall of stuff and things. Papow. Boo put it up for me. She's great. Shout out to Boo. I'm not that organized. Well, that was pretty badass. I've been on a been on a pike hunt for a long time now. A big pike hunt. Caught a lot of pike through the ice, but they're all tiny. And while that's not the biggest pike in North America, and it's not even the biggest fish caught out of that lake, it was big enough that I was pretty damn stoked about it. Bad news, my mic crapped out right after that. So that's why there was kind of an abrupt ending, and it's always kind of, kind of poopy when that happens, but what can you do? And to be honest, you didn't miss out on too much. Besides, I did hook another decent sized pike. It was a little bit smaller um, on a frog and uh, had him on for a little bit, but he ended up coming off anyway. So I might roll some of that footage, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, it was a good day. Uh, threw a lot of pike baits around. The last time I did a pike fishing under a bridge video thing, everyone was like, you're not even throwing pike baits. Well, I just didn't include the pike bait throwing in the video because nothing really happened. I don't know what's wrong with Nebraska pike, but they don't really seem to like pike baits that much. They like bass baits. It's kind of strange. Or maybe I just don't know how to throw pike baits. I don't really know. But I threw a bunch of musky slash pike baits around. It didn't work, but C10 came through. If you want to uh, pick up some deep cranks for some pike or bass or anything, um, yeah, discount code stash, 10% off, 6 centsfishing.com. Uh, I forget what that one's called, but it's like a citrus, chartreuse, shad scale thing. And uh, it seemed to work pretty good for the pike head. He was pretty convinced he wanted to eat it. So he did. But yeah, if you like this video, if you want to see more pike fishing videos, um, if you want to see more videos with dad. No, he's not my dad. Quit asking. He's my YouTube dad. It's a joke. Get over it. But yeah, if you want to see more of that stuff, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And things. Uh, hit the bell notification and stuff. Um, I plan on doing a lot more pike fishing. Once the water cools down a little bit, it's not the greatest really to fish for them when it's um, super hot in the summer. They don't really do very well in hot water. But luckily fishing for them back in that creek, the water's a little bit cooler, especially in the morning. So even though it swallowed it, we fished around there for a long time and never saw it float up. So hopefully the big girl's all right. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate you all very much. I will uh, see you soon. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Pow. Pow!